A typical running objective among triathletes who are serious about attaining their maximum performance potential is to run a 5k in 30 minutes. It's also a great goal to set yourself on your running adventure. Well, you've arrived at the right place if you're serious about running 5k in under 30 minutes or quicker because in today's video, we'll show you how to achieve it whether you're a new triathlete or have been running for a while. Welcome to Triathlon Global Insights, the motivation channel for all triathletes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with what's happening in the triathlon world. We keep you updated about triathlon news, incredible races, training tips, and information about pro athletes. It's a huge accomplishment for a triathlete to be able to run 5K in under 30 minutes. It shows that you've improved your speed as well as your stamina. You can keep a great speed for an extended amount of time, which is great for your running abilities and general health. First and foremost, can you already run five kilometers continuously? The ability to run 5K without stopping is the most important component in a sub 30 minute 5K. Here are some tips on how you can begin to run your 5K in under 30 minutes. Number one. 5K run walk strategy. Okay, you can't run five kilometers in a row yet, but you can surely walk five kilometers. And that's where you need to begin. You're going to walk five kilometers on foot with some short sprinting intervals thrown in for good measure. You'll progressively increase the duration of your running intervals as you continue until you're running the full 5K. Number two, when you're out running, go at your own pace. There's no such thing as a proper or wrong speed when running. We'll get you to a point where you can run 5K without stopping, and then we'll focus on speed. So don't worry if you think you're merely jogging. Number three, treadmills are a perfectly appropriate technique to prepare for a 5K run. Treadmills have a poor reputation, yet they are highly practical and may be used to track your progress because they reliably report pace and distance. We've even compiled a comprehensive couch to 5K treadmill tutorial. Spend a few weeks repeating the distance after you've given up to jogging 5K without stopping. Number four, work at a fast pace. Doing focused speed work is the most effective approach to enhance your running speed. Interval training is a great method to include speed work into your workout. This strategy entails sprinting briefly, then resting to recuperate before repeating the process. Depending on your objectives and other considerations, you can do the fast pace intervals at 5K speed or faster with rest periods in between. Number five, training at a rapid pace. Tempo training is another effective running approach for improving your 5K speed. Tempo runs, also known as threshold workouts, run at a comfortable, hard pace around 20 to 30 seconds per mile faster than your current 5K pace. Tempo training's goal is to make you acclimated to being slightly uncomfortable. There's a lot to like about tempo training. First, it boosts your metabolic fitness, an important physiological factor in running performance. Tempo training in particular raises your lactate threshold, which is the point at which your body becomes fatigued at a certain rate. You can run three miles at a tempo speed after a 10 minute warm up jog with a one minute push at the 5K target pace every three minutes. A five minute jog can help you relax and that's all there is to it. Number six, pay attention to your body. You grow acclimated to what it feels like to run a given speed by listening to your body rather than relying on technology to tell you how fast you're going. Many great runners, for example, have perfected pace by just listening to their bodies. But do you ever see an elite runner racing the London Marathon using a GPS watch? No. This is because they intuitively understand the tempo at which they must run to maintain control and avoid going too quickly or too slowly. Go for a few solo runs without your GPS watch to get a sense of what it's like to run at a specific speed. Number seven, strengthen your body. Strength workouts should be included in your training plan at least once a week. Squats, lunges, push-ups, hip bridges, and planks are samples of body weight and free weight exercises, deadlifts, kettlebell swings, weighted lunges, weighted squats, weighted hip bridges. We recommend starting with weight training and making your way up to a free weight workout regimen if you're new to strength training. Number eight, boost your core strength. When you're running, your core is crucial. With a strong core, you can maintain a strong and stable stance for longer, helping you to maintain excellent running form and posture. The muscles in your back, stomach, and hips are all important for core strength, and they all work together to help you maintain excellent posture. They also aid in standing up straight, transferring energy, and distributing a load of weight bearing on two legs. Number nine, 
the form should be refined. Believe it or not, running form may help you cut seconds off your timing. By making modest changes to your running posture and technique, you can help your body move with less effort and greater efficiency. Running with proper form can also assist in preventing ailments like IT band syndrome, runner's knee, and shin splints. Number 10. Don't forget to warm up before you begin. A solid warm-up is necessary to prepare your mind and body for the upcoming run on race day. Warm up with various active stretches to loosen your muscles and prepare your body for the run. Next, warm up with some running drills to improve your technique and performance. Number 11. Put on proper attire. Make sure you're dressed in running gear that makes you feel good. The last thing you may do is continually change your running leggings or shirt since it will distract you from your workout. Wear the running gear you're used to and make sure it's appropriate for the weather you'll be running in. Number 12. Put on the proper running shoes. A good pair of running shoes are also required. When it comes to finding the ideal pair of running shoes, there are several factors to consider, ranging from foot arch types to stride and stability. You'll discover that picking the right pair of shoes is specific to you and your running style. Number 13. Rest, refuel, and recover. Following a training schedule can be difficult, especially if spread out across several weeks. Make sure to give yourself ample time to relax and recover. This entails training intelligently and following a training plan that prioritizes rest and recovery. Put another way, don't feel obligated to train every day or every week. Today's video will get you started on the right foot if you want to run a 5k in under 30 minutes. It is, however, your responsibility to make the initial move. After that, the rest is only minor details. That ends our video for today. We do hope that this information and tips helped you in many ways. Thanks for watching and staying with me up until the end. You may like, subscribe, and press that notification bell so that you'll be updated on our next upload. Take care, everyone. Bye!